everyone, for today's video, we're going to study estimating the product. I have here 321 times 25. To estimate products, we round off the factors to their highest place values. So let's proceed to 321. Since our highest place value here is digit 3 at the hundreds place, beside digit 3, we have digit 2. Since digit 2 is 4 or less, 321 will become 300. Let's proceed to the second factor, which is 25. Here, the highest place value is digit 2. It is at the tens place. And beside digit 2, we have digit 5. Since digit 5 is 5 or more, 25 will become 30. So we can now multiply the rounded off factors. As you can see, we have three zeros, so we're going to write three zeros at the product, then let's multiply the first non-zero digit. We have three times three equals, that's correct, it's nine. So the estimated product of 321 and 25 is 9,000. Is that clear? Let's proceed to the second example. I have here 497 times 329. So let's go on to 497. Since the highest place value here is digit 4 at the hundreds place, let's look at the digit beside digit 4 which is digit 9. Since digit 9 is 5 or more, 497 will become 500. Let's proceed to the second factor. We have 329. The highest place value here is digit 3 at the hundreds place. And beside digit 3, we have digit 2. Since digit 2 is 4 or less, so we're going to have 329 as 300. So we can now multiply them. As you can see, children, we have four zeros to the right. So, we're going to write four zeros at the bottom. Then, let's multiply the non-zero digits. We have 3 times 5 equals... That's correct. It's 15. So, the estimated product of 497 and 329 is 150,000. How about if we have this? 5,732 times 4,925. So let's estimate the first factor, the 5,732. It will become, that's correct, 6,000. Why 6,000? Because beside digit 5, we have digit 7. And digit 7 is 5 or more. That means we will round it up. So we have 6,000. Then let's proceed to the second factor. We have 4,925. So it will become... Good job! That is 5,000. So we can now multiply them. How many zeros are we going to write at the bottom? Good job, children! We're going to write 6 zeros since we have 6 zeros at the top. So we can now multiply the non-zero digit. 5 times 6 equals... Fantastic! It's 30! So the estimated product of 5,732 and 4,925 is 30 million. How about if we have this? 2,099 times 89. So let's estimate the first factor. 2,099 will become... Good job! It's 2,000. How about 89? It will become... Very good children! 90. So we can now multiply them. How many zeros are we going to write here? Fantastic! Four zeros since we have four zeros at the top. So let's multiply the non-zero digits. 9 times 2 equals... Very good children, it's 18. So the estimated product of 2,099 and 89 is 180,000. How about if we have this? 
874 times 95. So let's estimate the first factor. 874 will become... Very good children, 900. How about 95? It will become... Fantastic! It's 100. So let's multiply them. How many zeros are we going to write here? Good job! We need to write four zeros. Then let's multiply the non-zero digits. 1 times 9 equals... Fantastic! It's 9. So the estimated product of 874 and 95 is 90,000. Let's have our last example, 4,360 times 9. So 4,360 will become, very good, 4,000. As you can see, the second factor is only one digit. Take note children, do not round off one digit factors. So that means we're going to copy digit 9. So let's multiply them. How many zeros are we going to write? Good job, children! We're going to write three zeros. Then let's multiply the non-zero digit. Nine times four equals... Fantastic! It's 36. So the estimated product of 4,360 and 9 is 36,000. Always remember, children, to estimate products, we round off the factors to their highest base values. Then multiply these rounded off factors. Take note, do not round off one digit factors.